Red snapper season is here, and charter boat captains say they're hoping to see a boost in business compared to last summer's concerns over the Gulf oil spill. As ABC Action News reporter James Jackson tells us, some charter boat captains say there's another problem this season, but it's not in the water. He's been waiting and waiting for fishermen. Whenever the people book the boat, not very often, like I said, because the price is so high. The last time William Moran took his boat, the Snoopy 2, out from Clearwater Beach Marina was Friday. He says he's having a hard time getting folks to go red snapper fishing these days because of the slumping economy. There ain't no money. Nobody's going out to spend the money to go out there. That's part of it. I mean, there's, there's plenty of fish out there. Just takes a lot of money to go out there to catch them. Federal government regulations limit two red snapper per person before you have to throw them back. Moran says the fish have been biting, but this year is much different than last season. Well, last summer it was very bad because the media told everybody to stay away from the west coast of Florida because of the oil. And a lot of my customers uh, called me and, and canceled. You kind of got to jump on the bandwagon and get them while you can. But uh, yes, the economy is hurting us somewhat. But we're getting by. Bob Green is a cook and fisherman on the Double Eagle 3. He says so far his crew hasn't had a problem getting people to come fish. On our 14-hour trip we went on this past Sunday, we were out. We came back in with, uh, we relied 90, and we brought in 90, along with some grouper and some mango snapper. The cook urges more people to go snapper fishing because he says they're simply delicious. But Green says you better hurry. The season's been shortened. It runs through July 18th. James Jackson, ABC Action News.